I have just been sitting here thinking about what to do for this video. There's a couple different things I've been considering working on out here at the base, and I've been torn on which to work through. So I started thinking, why don't we do both? I want to fill Skybase up with plenty of flowing liquids of all types, and I also want to put some time in down on the ground level and start getting a structure in. We put the sugarcane farm in last episode, and the place has been pretty barren, so I figured it's time to populate it. Just pounding out some copper so we got plenty of materials to work with down below. Using liquid in the create mob requires a lot of copper. We need copper pipes, copper tanks, copper gears and machinery and all that stuff. So here we go. So here we are below deck. Things have changed a bit. I used to have the B area right here and I moved it to right there. I took down the old uh, lower basement area of my house shape and put up a new one with a different palette. And I've just been filling this area up with liquid so far, figuring some things out and getting used to some of the mechanics because it's been a while since I've worked with liquids in Create Mod. I showed you guys before this cool water pump where I pull water from the river below. Well, that system's here, but it's cleaned up a bit. And as you can see, we've got system power there and we can flip that lever there to either get buckets of water or to send water into the system. Now over here, the bees, this one's pretty awesome and it's already nearly full, which is great because I've got a really big plan for this honey. The bees are currently all in their hives, but back here you can see we have the machine pumping away, pulling out any honey that gathers up in the hives. The honey gets pumped into this big tank, which has, as you can see right there, 149,000 million buckets of honey, right? <laughs> no, I believe it's millibuckets, but anyway, this sign is actually reading the exact amount in the tank. And it's doing that with this awesome little display link. The display link is reading this content observer. The content observer is observing how much honey is in the tank. So we have a really cool visual way to keep an eye on how much fluid are in these tanks. And what I got going on right now with the system is the system power is down here. You turn that on and I can just put the bucket down and it'll fill it up with honey. It'll actually fill them all up. So let me pick that up. And as you can see, honey is a liquid that flows. This makes me want to build some kind of awesome bee nest hive thing with honey flowing all over the place. But that will have to happen some other time because we got other plans today. Now, say I have too much honey. I can just put the bucket in there and it sucks it right back into the system. And then over here, I put in a bit of a lava farm. We got lava sources up here and this is actually dripstone, but it's been retextured with the chipped mod. And the dripstone drips lava just like normal dripstone because it is. And these cauldrons fill up and the tank is already full. If I need anything, I could just turn on the system power, rev it up, say I want some lava. Well, I could obviously, yeah, I could just pull from here and it'll start filling that up again, but I can also put it down there and get buckets of lava filled. So my liquid collection is off to a great start, but there are still more liquids to go. And the first of which is gotta be milk. <laughs> hey there, little girl. You're gonna love this, I swear. Wow. So I believe I'm going to put in the milk efficator right in this general area. I'm going to try to keep the design similar to the way those are very compact and functional because we do have limited space on Skybase and we still have a lot of things to do here. So let's get to building. Okay, so this is what I've got going so far and it's actually a lot more compact than I thought it would be. Granted, I haven't added a spout to get milk from it yet, but we'll figure that out later. But let's take a look at what's happening here. First of all, I pulled the power in from this side, which is running those cogs right there, which is powering the whole system so far. I've got this belt powering the lower system down here is the best way to transfer the power from the cogs. And this is powering the deployer here, which has an empty bucket in its hand. Now, if there was a cow right here, this deployer would be milking it. And when it does, thanks to this smart funnel back here with the filter of the milk bucket, it will spit the milk bucket out into the drain. The drain will absorb all the milk and then kick the bucket over to this ejector here. Once the bucket is on the ejector, it gets flipped up back into the system just like that. See that again? Yep. How about from here? Long shot. Missed it. Long shot. First try. So for the next step, we need a volunteer. 
Okay, old Betsy's got a new home, and as you can see, she is getting milked away. The milk is in the system. Buckets are getting flipped around. Milk's getting drained, and we are filling up fast. I didn't expect it to happen this quick, but this tank is going to fill up in no time. Uh, yep, you said it, Betsy. Everything's working fine. Currently, there's only two buckets in the system, and that's looks like it's all it's ever going to need which is pretty cool and you will produce good good milk for us for eternity well at least until our tank's full and we need more but eventually we're going to be making chocolate and once we make chocolate we're going to need a lot of milk <laughs> Oh yeah, it feels like I'm starting to get a good amount done. I've laid quite a bit of groundwork, you could say, down here, laying down the ground for whatever future plans this turns into. But you can see I have already started populating with farms. We put a working themed wheat farm in next to our sugarcane farm. And I didn't get a chance to talk about this after I built it last episode, so why don't we go over these really quick. In the back of the system is where all the magic happens. These long stick looking things Things are posts that extend the piston and when it hits morning this daylight sensor right here fires and sets off the system and right now both of these farms are working off the same system the nice thing about the wheat side is if it plows up any wheat it has seeds in the system from plowing wheat and it uses those seeds to replant new wheat when the arms come back into resting mode all of the wheat that's in the system gets dropped through the chutes and into a vault below and as you can see by this filter it's only allowing wheat to go through so you can see we're gathering seeds power from the system is coming in from the river you can see the water wheel working away down there the water flows over it and sends power up into the farms water's drained down here and into a drain down below and you can see the river has dried up because of it gonna have to do something to make it look a little nicer by the way everyone i'd like to take a moment to apologize apparently there's something up with my voice and it's just getting worse so i hope i'm not getting sick but i don't feel sick i think i've just been talking too much anyway over here we've got this thing created from shoots and not ladders but girders over here we have a bit of a fireplace bonfire type thing I saw a picture that looked very similar to this and I thought, hey, I want to build that in Minecraft. So I did. And yeah, I worked a little bit of gradienting with it and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'll definitely be tying this into more stuff around here as the area grows. And then finally, in this bad boy, there's something I need a lot of. This floor is limestone. And limestone is very hard to come by, it turns out. But it turns out you can also make it. Lava flowing into flowing honey. Mm, look at that honey. And it works just like a stone generator or a cobble generator. But it produces limestone, and I am so thankful I discovered this. I only found out about this because I went to the Create Wiki to see if there was any easier ways to get limestone. We have eight drills down there drilling away, and we have chutes directly under them sucking it all in. So let's turn on this system and see how it works. Look at that. We're getting eight at a time. And it's working pretty fast. Let's take a look at these numbers. We have 540 to 551, 559, 567, 575. It's coming in pretty fast. And you might not be able to tell it by my cool voice right now, but I'm super excited, super excited about it. Oh man, I gotta stop talking for a little bit. There, there, a little more decoration and 
you know, I think I'm gonna call this done with possibility of upgrading later, but for now, this is definitely going to do exactly what I need. Over here, I made a standard little cocoa bean farm, which is honestly fairly manual still. I looked into a lot of different ways to harvest these things with the create mod and tested a lot of things and nothing worked that great. So for now, this is what I do. Oh, they're ready to go. Let's flip the switch. Boom, they all fall off and a quick replant and I'm done. So now this new wall can start growing and every time I'm left with 60 cocoa beans, not too bad. With cocoa beans now being produced here in Skybase, chocolate will be coming soon, but that'll probably be next episode. I also threw in this tank over here with this liquidy blue goodness that I just love. I'm gonna be using this stuff a lot. It's really simple. I come with my source of this stuff and put it in here in this drain and it drains into the system. And if I need to get some of this stuff back out of it, I just flip the switch. We'll see, it comes through and in a moment, it's gonna come in here and boom. If you can't tell what just happened, I've got eight minutes of night vision. Aw, yeah. And there is so much, there's gallons and gallons of night vision in here I've been producing. By the way, have you ever had trouble hiding lighting in Minecraft? Are you sick of spamming torches all over the place? Well, maybe this video over here will have the answers for you to hide lighting in some creative ways. So check it out. And for now, I will see you guys later.